It's finally happening. I'm doing a hair tutorial. You guys have been asking me to do a hair tutorial for literal years at this point. The reason I haven't done it is not because I want to gatekeep anything, not because I want to be like the secret. Honestly, because my routine is not like incredibly routine. But because of that, I actually think my routine is very simple and easy and something that I think really anyone can do. Also, this isn't an expensive routine. Starting with this brush. As you can see, I have had this brush. I literally remember using this brush in high school. This brush still works. You don't need 700 brushes. This is the brush I use. So I'm starting with damp hair. Let it air dry, at least until it's like, not sopping wet. Also, you guys are always asking me what products I use, what products I use, and I'm gonna be honest with you, it's nothing fancy. Garnier Fructis, baby. I swear by this. I have been using this again since high school. You're gonna notice a theme here. Nothing makes my hair feel better. I've used super fancy high end. I've used random whatever. I've used a lot of brands because I'm not super picky. This is the best stuff. You can buy it at CVS and it's the best. That is why I have this giant vat of it, family size, and my husband uses it even though I would rather not share, but he does. This is a travel size because I ran out of my normal size and I'm lazy and I haven't been to CVS yet. The best stuff, get it. It's also not expensive and I am really cheap and it works beautifully. Your hair looks great, okay. For the most part, I am really not picky when it comes to products. That's what I buy, but I will use whatever except this bad boy, Moroccan oil. How do you, I don't, I really don't know how beauty influencers do it or why they put their hand there. I don't, whatever, this. This is the one product that I genuinely think makes a difference. It makes my hair so much smoother, silkier. There's no frizz. I don't have super brittle hair, but when I don't use this, it feels brittle. This is my favorite product in the entire world. This is not sponsored. This is not an ad. No one has paid me to say this. I've been using Moroccan oil since Genuinely, I was a freshman in high school. I have a little one that comes with me on the road because I could not imagine doing a show without having Moroccan oil in my hair. I use a generous amount because I have a lot of hair, it's thick, but I use like maybe three squirts, rub it all around, and then start at the bottom. I feel like a little mermaid. Ah. And I do go up to my roots, so I don't know if you're supposed to or not. Don't wipe this on your nice towels because that's how they get yellow like all of my old towels. And now it's time to start with the hair. I'm oiled up, I'm brushed, and then we're gonna go in, we're gonna blow dry it. The Revlon One Step Hair Dryer literally makes it beyond easy to do your hair. Sectioning it off. I'm gonna go into three sections, take roughly two thirds of my hair up there, flip it on the top of my head, I look ridiculous, and then we get to work. At this point, I'm really just trying to get my hair dry. I'm not that worried about what I'm doing, but I do do some of the rotating. Oh, and I have a dance party. But I do do some of the rotating with the brush that gives it a little bit of shape. Okay, great, that part's dry. Now, the middle section. Honestly, I just kind of like really only take the very front, so like that's like not a lot of hair. I feel like Cindy Lou Who right now. Great, great look. And then going on this section. Once again, I'm just trying to get the damp out of my hair here and make sure it's dry. <laughs> Quite literally, a mic drop. And you know, obviously, when I'm drying my hair by myself, I do mic myself up. That's a very important part of the process. <laughs> being a creator is so bizarre sometimes. Like, here's the thing. I love being a creator. I love making comedy videos, and I love getting to do some things where I get to, like, talk to you more directly like this. It's an undoubtedly weird thing to do to set up a camera and a ring light. I don't know if you can see it. Wear a microphone. It's like nighttime. I'm gonna go to bed after this. I'm not doing my hair for anything. Anyway, listen, being a creator is the best job in the world and I love it, but <clears throat> I feel weird sometimes when I do things like this. At this point in the process, I'm not really styling my hair. I'm just trying to get all of the damp out. I'm really focusing on the roots because that's where I think it's the hardest to make sure it gets fully really dry. It's like pretty dry, so I'm gonna make sure that it gets fully dry when I do the last section. Now that's a look. Just damp at the front, and now I do the most important step of the blow dry part of the process. My mother is a child of the 80s, and when she taught me how to do my hair when I was very young, she said the most important thing you can do is flip. This is where technique starts to matter. I'm upside down drying my hair to add to the volume, think gravity. I'm also spending a lot of time on the front pieces of my hair, as you can see, trying to make sure that I'm getting volume and brushing that away from my head. I'm also using the round brush to smooth my hair from root all the way to the end with a flick of the wrist at the end to give it some of that curl at the bottom. I love volume. Not just of my voice because I love volume there too, but I love volume in my hair. That round brush motion does a lot of the work for you. At this point, even I can't believe I'm still drying my hair, but just making sure it's fully dry. My hair 
is dry for the most part. Now listen, on a normal day, I was just like going out to dinner with some friends, wasn't gonna do a show. I would probably stop here. But again, this is my full routine. So now it's time for the piece de resistance. The thing that makes my hair do wow. Do wow. I Whatever, this is unscripted, if you couldn't tell. The most important product in my arsenal, and you're probably like, what is in that random pouch, you might ask? Well, let me tell you, it is Velcro curlers. Straight out of 1984. I don't know if that's even the right year. I think that's the book. That's the George Orwell book. I've tried to read that book so many times. Can't get through it. Anyway, I digress. My mom, child of the 80s, instilled in me the beauty, the importance, the fortitude. I don't know if that's the right word either, but Velcro curl... Velcro curlers, try saying that five times fast, Velcro curlers, Velcro curlers. I'm gonna start doing that before shows. That's gonna be my vocal warm up. Anyway, Velcro, Velcro curlers, diction, they're the best thing. <laughs> However, as much as I swear by them, I just went and grabbed some from my mom's house one day when I decided I was gonna be on my Velcro curler train and uh, I don't have any of the proper accoutrement. I actually only have seven curlers, so I use seven in my routine. Not because I think that's the magic number, but because that is the number I have. Like I told you guys, only kind of a routine, but I do think the, the Velcro curler I nailed at that time. But it's, it is the most important step. Look at that volume already. It's again with the sectioning of the hair, but this time, it's going from the top down, so I don't pre-section. The first thing I'm gonna do is the front of my hair. I like volume, so I roll this one away from my face. I don't have a normal hair dryer, so I heat the hair up before I put the curler in because they work better when the hair's hot. So that's just me getting my hair hot. I roll the curler, and this time I'm going away from my face. You will see as we move forward, I don't have enough of these, so I use other clips. I learned that what you should do is like alternate when you're curling away from your face or into your face to give it a more natural blowout look. This is like what I care the most about, the top and these front two, so I don't wanna put too much hair in there because I wanna make sure the curl really gets the curl. Whoa! I wanna make sure the curl really gets the curl, so. I shed so much in this whole process. I could never commit a crime. They would be like, who did it? They'd be like, well, there's 900 strands of hair here, so I bet if we follow those, we could find the perpetrator. My hair would just be like all over the crime scene. Pinning it on this side of your face, it's hard for me. I'm not ambidextrous like at all. I look like George Washington, I'm cool with it. Now this is where the alternating comes in. So if you remember, this one went away, this one went under, because I love the little face frame, like Rachel and Friends. So this one is going out. Same for this one, the middle strand goes out, away from your face. Last two <clears throat> are going in towards my face. Goes in, out, in, out. I usually have enough clips. Hold on, let's see, do I have one here? I have these, see if they... And now we wait. The thing about curlers is the longer you keep them in, the better they work. I'm gonna go and like just chill out and I will be back to unveil this all. Me again. It's been about 20 minutes. Now it's time to take them out. Like I said, the longer you could leave them in the better, but I'm impatient. So we're gonna go with 20 minutes. It's pretty self-explanatory, you just take them out. You don't wanna pull them out, that's important because then, you know, you kinda wanna let them fall out as best they can. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a little comma. You don't wanna pull them out because then you'll pull the curl out, so you wanna let it fall like as nicely as possible. But the Velcro does stick, so you do have to do a little bit. And I just kinda try to like cup it nicely as it comes out. Take it out uh, with the curl. I gotta be honest with you, I don't think my technique is right. We unclip the front ones. We want to try and get it out while keeping its shape as much as we can, and that's a thing of beauty. This one, for whatever reason, much easier. The important piece for the volume, the flip. The top, throw it out, push it back, and I mean, look at that volume. This is a weird tip, and I don't really have scientific evidence, but I always, when I'm done with my hair, take it like really, really loosely and push it back like this and just kind of clip it. And I just keep it there while I finish getting ready. I just think it like adds to the gravity of it all. Depending on how curly you want it, you could brush out the curls, you could add more. This is the vibe. And don't listen to the Gen Zers. No middle part, no middle part. That is gonna mess up your volume. You gotta do the side part. I was singing Ariel before this. That is the Disney princess volume. You're not gonna get that with a middle part. No way. I do a flip and a shake. I do that before I go on stage. It just gives it some volume, bounce, and movement. That's my hair. I'm gonna recap it for you really quick. Start with damp hair, Moroccan oil. Section it off, dry it, use the round brush. Curlers, let the curler set, let it fall. So, give it a shot. And if you do, tag me in your process. I wanna see how it looks at the end. Please, if you like my content, if you like my comedy, if you like any of it at all, 
give me a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot. It would really help me boost my channel as I want to release more stuff on here. Bye.